Well, there's a Firefox icon there, but I want to update the. Si Look at the tiny icons there. I want to update the system. So the updater is not in system tools, right? It's not in system either. Are we going to have fun looking for it? Oh. Open box session? Have you just installed everything under the sun and pretended that people will like it? Oh. Well guys, there's no there's no update manager here. Accessories. Virtual box. This is gonna be fun to update, isn't it? Where have you put it? Internet? No. Unit booting. You've you've used this system for yourself and just done remaster assist, haven't you? Without removing anything or doing a clean install. Well, I'm stumped. I can't find the update manager, and I'm not gonna. I suppose I could use a search. Where is it then? Let's check for updates. Yep, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's the way we roll. How many repositories is this? What the... Australia? You haven't cleaned the system before you've... This is not good for, for users at, at all. And you've got sources enabled. Now if... Right, see that that says to me don't use the distro, that does. If you if the the, the um repositories aren't signed. In fact, if you're the creator of this distribution and you're watching this, can you please reply to this video below here and tell me that it's a joke. Please tell me that this distribution is a joke, please. Because if it's not a joke and you're actually thinking that people are gonna use this rubbish, you're sadly mistaken. Look at it. Look at this. All those repos and unsigned at that. In fact, I'm not going to update the system until I check the sources because that's ridiculous. <sighs> There's errors with your theme. Right, let's have a look. I've never seen a sources list this big. See, look, you never cleaned your distro before you did the remaster assist because it's stuck on Australia. Of course, I can change it, but the point is I shouldn't have to. Right, that's all okay, just Australian. It's not a problem though. Right, now we've got... We've got this. Look, there's these PPAs to things which... You've even left the remaster sys PPA in there. I bet you've left all the system things there. I bet I could remaster sys this distro yet again. I bet you never removed Remaster Assist or cleaned it or anything, did you? Look at that, GOS repositories. Why? Why are they there? What a mess. Well, we'll update the system anyway, but... Oh. Look. This has got to be a joke. Got to be a joke, this joke. Because if it's not, you people are fucking stupid for releasing this and thinking that people are going to accept it. Sure, you may get a few Ubuntu users accepting it, who, who are trying it and saying, oh look, it's got a nice theme. But when you get experienced people like me, we're going to get pissed off with things like this because you're making Linux look terrible. Ubuntu makes it look bad, this makes it look like a laughing stock. You've got unsigned repos, welcome screens that make no sense, errors when you launch things. Themes which are glitchy, boot screens which flicker, websites which make no sense, fragmentation of what you're saying. This is funny. This is really funny. This distro is funny as anything. There's a grub screen. It's grub 1.97 beta 4. Huh. So you got to wait for it for ages for it to boot a system with more than one hard disk then. So anyway, we've got mem test. We've got... 2.6.3114 2.6.3117 Now Ubuntu ships with 14 
and updates to 17. And Gozalia ships for 17 and uses that by default. In which case, 14 shouldn't be there. You should have removed that before you did the remaster sys. So you really don't know what you're doing, do you? 2.6.3120, which is the latest one. But look at it. It's black text on a almost black background. Look, you can't read the stuff at the bottom there. Anyway, let's oh, after the it. update, a few things happen. The welcome center comes back up, even though, even though it was unchecked, and the search thing still works, right. Look what happened to your panel. <laughs> and I rebooted, and it still does this. <laughs> oh, guys, this is a joke distro, right? <laughs> uh, I unmarked that before I rebooted again, and it still come up this time, so it's obviously going to keep coming up. I don't know what you did there. Your top panel's screwed up. <laughs> what version of Firefox do we have after the update? Three point five point eight. It's not even the latest version. Look, Gazalia Search. You thought you'd make a bit of money by using a custom search. Well, I'd gladly use that, but the distro is such a mess. I'm not going to. I like the way you change every other aspect of the system, but you kept Firefox out of date. Smart. Applicatch, because it's cut off. I was going to check Open Office, weren't I? Well, that's not Open Office 2, is it? So you know that your welcome screen is wrong. It's not the latest version either. I don't... Does it play YouTube out of the box? Wait, did I just see Firestarter there? Do you guys know that Firestarter hasn't been updated for like the best part of five years and you're including it as if it's still worth using? You shouldn't do that. Unsupported and out of date. People could totally mess up their system like this, by the way. Don't recommend it at all. Yeah, that's pretty stupid to have included that. And you probably know it was. Your history's still in here. Unless these are favourites. No. You left all your history in here. Oh. You don't know how to remaster a distribution, do you guys? It's a good job that this stuff is... It's a good job that this is just useful history. And it's not anything that you wouldn't like people using but oh guys guys make switch to Windows or something learn about Linux in VirtualBox then use Linux for about eight years then make your own distro because I don't I'm not convinced you know anything about Linux let alone making your own distro when you've gone and done that That is, that is not cool. Makes me wonder, actually. Oh, you never left anything in there, anyways. All right, you did that right. Look, look at this. Right, I'm going to take a break from this distro and um, come back to it later.